Yo, what's up? YouTube is going to Cars Gaming here, and we're actually doing a different video today. This game is called Lightsaber Arena. Some people know it on Roblox, and from what I've seen, there is not a tutorial video on how to play this game. So I just thought I'd go out of my way and make it for you guys. So I'm in. I don't even know what this map is called. We're in a map. Um, if you spawn here, you know what it is. If you don't, it's okay. All the maps do the same thing. We're gonna start off with the controls. Um, so starting with the uh, shift lock. Uh, normally it's shift, but it's control, like left control. So it look like this. Uh, there's a reason why it looks like that. Um, so you see how there's a circle. It won't pop up here, but there should be like green things indicating where you should kind of aim your lightsaber. So like actually looking like in a direction uh, gives you a thing called perfect block. What that does is it makes your stamina not go down uh, when you get hit because when you get hit this red bar which is your stamina it goes down by like a tick two ticks three ticks each hit so if you perfect block then it just stays the same and you're just going to keep regening okay so i'm just going to provide you guys a clip of me fighting someone and just like give an example of it if you just you know move normally you see how it's kind of fast if you hold shift while moving it gets a little slower that's because you're going to be regening your stamina so by holding shift uh and blocking or even you don't even have to block there's a difference see that so i'm not i'm not holding shift here let me go back and then i'm holding shift here see how it's a lot slower now it's because i would be regening stamina Oh, you can't sprint with your lightsaber out, I think. Okay, you guys see the red and blue bars? The red bar is your stamina, and the blue bar is your force energy. If you hold space, you use uh, some stamina, but mainly your blue thing, which is your force energy. Um, another thing you could do is holding M actually gives it back to you slowly, but that leaves you open to an attack. So if you throw your lightsaber, it'll come back by 20s, but you do kind of use your... Uh, energy force thing and your stamina so that's another thing it'll take some getting used to but I'm just kind of explaining it um, what else is there e, e is to slap but you have to be close to them and they have to be not be blocking if they're blocking it won't work um, another thing uh, middle mouse button where your scroll wheel is if you click your scroll wheel it'll throw your lightsaber which is what I showed earlier <laughs> But you can get hit and it uses half of your energy and some of your stamina. I think that's basically the basics. Now to get into like a little bit more complicated stuff. R, while your lightsaber runs out, is a dash. He used to taunt, but it's just, you know, taunt, make fun of me. Like, yeah, come here, boy, I can swing my lightsaber in like two different directions. Again, with the perfect walking, um, looking in the direction they swing. So if they swing down like this, you would be aiming up. To swing down, you either go forward or go backward or stand still. So if I'm moving forward, same thing. If I'm moving backward, same thing and if I'm standing still it is the same thing if I hold D which is moving to the right it does a side swing like that and it's the inverse of that so if I hold A and move to the left it does the same thing except in the opposite direction okay I'm gonna save you guys a little bit um here are the controls and the type of swings they do I'm just put them on the screen but you guys can listen to me talk if you want if I hold W and A it does a over, somewhat of an overhand swing like that and then if I hold W and D, it does the opposite direction. Um, and of course the speeds are different. The one to the right using the first form, which is Shicho. Um, it's slower, but then the one to the left is a little faster. If you hold S and D, it goes underhand. And it is slower than... Uh, the left one is slower this time. And then the one uh, going to the right is a little faster. So speeds do differ depending on the type of swing you do. So this is faster, this is faster, this is slower, this is slower. Speaking about forms, Z is to change your form, so then there's Makashi. Actually, hold on, let me start from the beginning. Uh, Shicho would probably be preferred as a starting um, form until you get used to these um, like mechanics, the fighting, blocking, all that. Shicho is just a little balanced. Makashi is like the slowest form in the game. And you can only throw two hits at a time. Whereas uh, some forms like Shicho, you could do four. Because this is me spamming my attack button. Whereas Makashi. Oh, it's three now. Okay, Sorosu. 
It is also a slow form, but it does a lot of damage. So Makashi and Sorsu are kind of right, like they're there, but Sorsu is a little better than Makashi depending on your point style. Ataru, which is probably the fastest form in the game. It does three max hits, um, and then you know, same mechanics, you know, overhand, underhand. Um, just to kind of test out the, you know, speeds on your own. See what's more comfortable with you. This is Sheehan. This is kind of a defensive form. It does four max attacks. Yeah, so if you hold S and B, it does this barrage of attacks. But it is really hard to hit, like all four of them in a row without getting hit and or killed. So now there's Sneeman. Um, he's just at your own risk. Last time I played, it was kind of um, just an insta death. Uh, but it is, you can use it really well. I got folded many times using it. Um, but yeah, just test out the forms on your own. Do what's best. So basically, that's just the basics um, for anyone that wants to kind of play the game, but they don't know how to play in the mechanics. Alright, this is called an aerial. Yeah. That does an overhead attack where you just jump up and then swing. Uh... They all have different, I guess, moves. So the let's okay, these are different lightsabers. Uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll explain it in the video. Let's go. The dark saber is the same thing as the regular saber that I have equipped right now, which is the single saber. It's just aesthetic, and I think it does more stamina damage in a way. I don't know for sure. I haven't tested it. Uh, the double lightsaber, I have that, so I can actually use it. I'm about to say what the hell was that? Double lightsaber is. They, it's it has one form, Juyo. Um, I used to use this a lot, but then I would switch to single because it was a little easier for me. But these are the moves, and it's kind of hard to use it. You just have to kind of it's it's like a dance. You have to get used to it, and then you know you'll suck at the beginning. Um, but yeah, and then the aerial. This is called an aerial where you jump and then use a move. Um, it's this. Instead of doing it overhead, you just jump over and then swing. You do a little, you know, cartwheel thing. And then I can show you guys one more. The dual lightsaber. Um, it's just two lightsabers. Um, same aerial as the other one. Um, it's just two lightsabers, so I think double the damage. So if you hit them like this, it's like... Instead of one swing, it's two swings. Um, they have different moves. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want this type of content like the lightsaber arena content and yeah um leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one also guys um this is my twitter i literally made it in the stream that i was um streaming earlier uh if you guys want to go follow it go ahead and follow it i'll probably link it in the video uh description below and yeah um i'm just gonna put some clips of me fighting so you guys can see what like a fight looks like before um you know, you guys test it out yourself. Un unless you already have, you can just watch me, like, what's the math?